The Thirteen Nights of Halloween by Guy Vasilovich. On the first night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me a bright, shiny skeleton key. On the second night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me a two-headed snake and a bright, shiny skeleton key. On the third night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton key. So there's the bats with baseball hats, so they're calling them baseball bats. On the fourth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton key. On the fifth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me five singing skulls. So if you were singing this to the tune of 12 Days of Christmas, you would have five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, two headed snake, and a bright shiny skeleton key. On the sixth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me six, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, two, a two-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton key. On the eighth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling. Did I miss one? On the seventh night of Halloween, my mommy gave to me seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton key. On the eighth night of Halloween, my mommy gave to me eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton key. On the ninth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me nine werewolves waiting, eight marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, a two-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton key. So look on the page and see if you can see all the stuff. On the 10th night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me 10 demons dancing, 9 werewolves waiting, 8 marching mutants, 7 goblins gobbling, 6 corpses caroling, 5 singing skulls, 4 icky eyeballs, 3 baseball bats, two head, a two-headed snake, and a bright shiny skeleton key. On the twelfth night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me twelve ghosts a-ghosting, eleven witches witching, ten demons dancing, nine werewolves waiting, eight mutants, marching mutants, seven goblins gobbling, six corpses caroling, five singing skulls, four icky eyeballs, three baseball bats, and a two-headed snake, and a bright shiny skeleton key. On the 13th night of Halloween, my mummy gave to me 13 thirsty vampires, 12 ghosts a-ghosting, 11 witches witching, 10 demons dancing, 9 werewolves waiting, 8 marching mutants, 7 goblins gobbling, 6 corpses caroling, 5 singing skulls, 4 icky eyeballs, 3 baseball bats, 2-headed snake, and a bright, shiny skeleton Miss Campio, key. Call line one, Miss Campio. So on this page, you can go back through the song and see if you can find everything all the way down from the 13 thirsty vampires to the two-headed snake because they're probably all on this page. So be a nice search and find game for your child. So you can sing that to the tune of 12 Days of Christmas. <clears throat> so we are going to make a Frankenstein head to go with our scary song story. 
And what I started with is just some craft sticks. You can use popsicle sticks if you want to make a smaller head. So the first thing you have to do is put some glue along the edge of your stick. And then you need to glue however many sticks together that you want. So I've used six sticks across. And then once you have your glue in there, it'll stick together a little bit, but it doesn't quite brace tight enough. So I can use the um, other part of his head there as a brace, and I put it across the back of the sticks. So for the bottom half of my uh, Frankenstein head, I've used some craft paint. And to get the nice bright green that you need, I've used about half green and half yellow. So it's a dark green and a yellow paint mixed together will give you the nice bright green for the Frankenstein head. So I did that in advance so I could have it dry, so I could uh, work with my craft here. So then for the top of his head, you can use paint, but I've decided to just use a marker. And what I'll do is I'll just go along the top and make his hairline. So it doesn't have to be even, it can be all messed up hairline. And then uh, you might want to make it down low enough that you're going to cover all of your green. So I'll just do another line, a little lower. And then I'm just going to take a black sharpie and color in above that. So basically, you're just doing a nice hairline for your Frankenstein. And then you can just take your Sharpie and color in your whole top of his head, which is actually his hair. So use your marker or your paint, fill that in nicely there. So see how I went down a little lower and I got right into my green paint so that there wasn't a part where there was no coloring. So I'm going to do a little... So that's where we're at. And for his eyes, I have some craft foam. You can also just use regular paper or you can again paint it. So what I like to do to get two pieces that I want the same is I just take two pieces, put them on top of each other, and then I just take my scissors and cut out the two circles for the eyes at the same time. They don't have to be circles, they don't have to be ovals, they can be whatever shape you want, but if you want them to be the same, if you overlap them when you cut them out, you'll get the same shape on each side. So I've got some nice big huge eyes for him on this project. So once I did that, then I just again took my black marker and I drew the inside of his eyes. So <clears throat> that would be the start. I just made two strips and I'll just color it in. And then same on the other side. And you can make your Frankenstein eyes however you want. And then Frankenstein always has some stitches and some roughed up marks on his face. So I'll just take my marker and give him some of those. And then you can give him whatever kind of mouth you want. And then I just gave him a little triangle nose. So the hardest part of that would be doing your glue ahead of time so that it's dry enough for you to handle your sticks and do your face on there. There's your Frankenstein.